Hello again, you are watching today on ENCA, DSTV Channel 43, with me, Dan Moyane. Now, regional body SADC has denounced the elections in Zimbabwe, concluding that the polls fell short of being free and fair. There were delays in delivering ballot papers to a number of voting stations on Wednesday, prompting the decision to add an extra day to allow voters to cast their ballots. Right now, as counting is continuing, results trickling in, President Emerson Mnangagwa is expected to secure another term. Let's rope in journalist Rashwit Mukundu for an update on this developing story and what it means for the countries joining us now, virtually from Harare, the capital of Zimbabwe. Rashwit, good afternoon. Welcome to today, and thank you very much for your time. Let's begin here. Has the counting, has the vote counting concluded or is it still underway? No, uh, I think we are past 50% uh, uh, of the vote counting uh, in most uh, uh, constituencies. Uh, there has been a trickling uh, of uh, results from the provincial command centers, uh, which of course show a mixture of uh, opposition and the rulings and PF for. Uh, commanding uh, victories, uh, but we are yet to get any indication on when the presidential result will be announced. In fact, there has been no communication uh, from the uh, Zimbabwe Electoral Commission on their timeline uh, to release the presidential election results. So what we have are local uh, government or local council results, as well as the member of parliament results at a constituency level. And uh, my estimation is that we are past 60% uh, or, or 50 or 60% of those uh, constituency results. And what does the picture look like at this very early stage? Uh, ZANU-PF yes, a, a, a commanding lead uh, in terms of uh, uh, parliamentary uh, represent, representation as well as council representation. Uh, I think what we are seeing uh, emerging is a pattern, a, a political pattern that uh, uh, we have seen in the past in which uh, the opposition has a, a commanding lead in most uh, urban uh, or towns or cities, uh, whilst the ZANU-PF has maintained its stronghold uh, on uh, rural areas. Uh, and we are uh, looking at uh, the last account I made, I think the opposition was uh, uh, slightly above 60 uh, uh, constituencies, uh, which they have won, and the ruling party, ZANU-PF, was close to 100. But uh, I must hasten to say that um, uh, what we are, a pattern that we are also seeing is that uh, ZANU-PF members of parliament uh, are receiving far more votes as compared to the uh, presidential uh, candidate, who, who is uh, uh, President Emerson Munangagwa. A good example is um, Cowdery Park in uh, Bulawayo, which was being contested by uh, a four, by our fi finance minister, Mutuli Ngube. He uh, got slightly above 5,000 votes, and President Munangagwa got uh, slightly above 3,000 votes. So that tells you that uh, there is a, 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 dis a dissonance in terms of uh, ZANU-PF's support with many ZANU-PF supporters uh, voting for the party at a council and parliamentary level, but voting opposition when it comes to the president. Okay. Now, opposition parties have been crying foul already about what we saw happening with the ballot papers running out and the SADC observer mission saying the elections were not free nor fair. Should we expect uh, the election results to be contested? It, it, there's no doubt that um, the election result will be uh, contested in a, a number of ways. Uh, first, the disenfranchisement uh, of as many uh, potential voters that you have already mentioned that was also picked up by the uh, observer groups that many people could not vote uh, because there was a shortage of ballot papers, so people retired home. Uh, but also the fact that many people could not even find their names. Some were uh, on the ballot papers that were pasted outside the polling stations, but when you went inside, then your name is not found. Then, of course, there are still contestations around the transmission of, uh, of uh, the presidential uh, vote count from the provincial uh, election command to the uh, Harare election command, which is the national uh, election command. Uh, the opposition is already um, uh, indicating that there is some uh, malpractices that are taking place. They are saying that some of their election agents are being called to come back to resign some uh, uh, a tabulation, a, a, a tabulated uh, uh, papers that indicate the number of uh, vote counts at a 
uh, at, at each of the polling stations. So uh, the, I think there are a number of potentially uh, legal uh, issues that will be raised, more so in terms of the transmission uh, and the uh, documentation or tabulation uh, of the vote count. Yeah, Sadek saying the election was neither free nor fair nor credible. Is that the sentiment on the ground? It's a, Zimbabwe is a polarized society, uh, and uh, to that extent, we then see that the opposition uh, has its own position that uh, this is a stolen election, uh, whilst, of course, the PF says that, that the opposition are crybabies. But the fact that uh, the SADC observer team, the European Union observer team, and also the African uh, Union observer team have noted uh, this election uh, weaknesses and deficiencies and chaos that clearly uh, puts a dent on the credibility and fairness of this electoral process. And uh, some of these issues were so brazen, so open, that uh, the observers, especially SADAC, which is uh, many times uh, uh, not so open in terms of its judgment of electoral practice of its member states, had no choice but to pronounce itself quite strongly uh, on the poor uh, management of the Zimbabwean election. Okay, thank you very much for your time this afternoon. Rashwit Mukundu, Zimbabwean journalist, live to us from Harare this hour, just uh, wrapping up for us what's been happening post the elections. Not looking good. There will be a lot of contestation in all forms, including legal, in terms of the results of, of these elections, which have already been pronounced as not free, as not fair, and not credible by the SADC Regional Observer Mission.